Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover how to take the project we created in Cubase 12 and export it to a file on the computer. This will be the final video in our Cubase 12 tutorial series and marks the end of our project when we're finally ready to share it after all the time we put into recording audio in MIDI, editing our tracks, and mixing. Exporting is the last step in any audio recording project. To do this, we have to have everything recorded and mixed and all the automation applied how we like it. The project should sound exactly how we want the final file to be created. Before exporting, I'm going to use the left and right locators in the bottom panel near the transport to set up the actual playback region. This is because there's a little bit of empty space at the beginning and end of the song and I don't want to export that too. To start the exporting process, go to the file menu, select export and audio mix down to bring up the exporting window. We get a lot of controls in the exporting window, but we don't really need to know about all of them. On the left, we have what will be exported. The first panel is for the single channels. This is what we would use if we wanted to output just our main stereo out. If everything is configured properly, it should be running through that like we talked about a few videos back in the audio connections tool for the sends and groups video, then all of our tracks and audio will be on this main stereo out. We tried to go to multiple and export a few different tracks at once. We'll get individual files for all of them instead of just one file with all the tracks playing. We do have the option here of exporting one instrument at a time if needed, and sometimes we'd want to do this if we had groups that we wanted to send stems for mastering, such as the guitar, drums, and vocals individually. At the bottom, we can see that the project will export within the locators range, and that's why we set that all up before opening this window. The top middle section is where we choose the file name, folder location on the computer, and get to see what the file will be called. The conflicts dropdown asks us what to do if there's already a file with that name, such as overwriting, renaming it to a new file, or asking us each time it happens. The file format has presets, but I usually just export as a simple WAV file or MP3. I'll set the file type to WAV to keep it uncompressed and set the sample rate to 44.1 kHz and the bit depth to 16-bit, which is pretty standard for an audio file. For most applications, you don't have to worry about the extra checkboxes on the right. With the mp3 file types, the only thing I want to mention is that it's often a good idea to use as high of a bit depth as possible, as this will apply less compression, but also retain the best balance of sound quality. Once that's done, press the export button at the bottom, and in a few seconds to minutes, we'll have a completed file in our computer in our folder that we can listen back to and share. Thanks for checking out this video and the series on audio production in Cubase 12 and finally getting our project to export. If these videos helped you out, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever any new videos are released. You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.